bringing huge amounts of protons up to speed in the shortest distance in fractions of a second, that's what laser acceleration technology, greatly improved in recent years, can do. An international research team from the GSI Helmholtzentrum für Schwerenenforschung and the Helmholtz Institute Jena, a branch of GSI, in collaboration with the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, USA, has succeeded in using protons accelerated with the GSI High Power Laser PHELIX to split O. The results have now been published in the journal Nature Scientific Reports and could provide new insights into astrophysical processes. For less than one picosecond, one trillionth of a second, the PHELIX laser shines its extremely intense light pulse onto a very thin gold foil. This is enough to eject about one trillion hydrogen nuclei, protons, which are only slightly attached to the gold, from the back surface of the foil, and accelerate them to high energies. Such a large number of protons in such a short period of time cannot be achieved with standard acceleration techniques, explains Pascal Bola, who is researching laser acceleration in the GSI research department Plasma Physics, PHELIX as part of his graduate studies. With this technology, completely new research areas can be opened that were previously inaccessible. These include the generation of nuclear fission reactions. For this purpose, the researchers let the freshly generated fast protons impinge on uranium material samples. Uranium was chosen as a case study material because of its large reaction cross-section and the availability of published data for benchmarking purposes. The samples have to be close to the proton production to guarantee a maximum yield of reactions. The protons generated by the PHELIX laser are fast enough to induce the fission of uranium nuclei into smaller fission products, which remain then to be identified and measured. However, the laser impact has unwanted side effects, it generates a strong electromagnetic pulse and a gamma ray flash that interfere with the sensitive measuring instruments used for this detection. At this stage, the researchers are assisted by the expertise of another GSI research group. For the chemical investigation of superheavy elements, a transport system has been in use for quite some time that can transport the desired particles over long distances from the reaction area to the detector. The reaction chamber is flushed through by a gas which, in the case of fission experiments, carries the fission products with it and, within only a few seconds, transports them via small plastic tubes to the measuring apparatus, which is now several meters away. Please support my channel to grow by pressing subscribe button and the bell icon, we will notify you technological news. Thank you.